What's happening everyone, Jeremy here. I know I haven't been back in a few weeks, but quite honestly, I've been very busy with a new YouTube channel. Uh, it's based around basically um, the food industry. That's where I came from. I've been working in the food industry for over 30 years. I absolutely love it. It's called Cheat Day and Basically, I'm testing new foods that hit the market, whether restaurants or supermarket, that are worthy of having a cheat day. Because quite honestly, I want to still maintain a healthy lifestyle and diet. But um, when October, the beginning of October hit, I decided I'm gonna relax because I started this channel in uh, early September and I kept my, my normal ketovore diet and had two cheat days a week. And I would basically do my food review and then the rest of the day, I wasn't eating anything. So I didn't gain any weight. Fast forward to October, my favorite time of the year, favorite month of the year, I wanted to just relax and enjoy myself. And I did. I wasn't trying to go crazy or anything like that, but what happened? Uh, let's see. I got sick and I gained 15 pounds. Yes, you heard me right. 15 pounds in one freaking month. Felt like shit. Excuse the French. So I decided to... Obviously, I needed to get back <laughs> uh, on track and I waited till after Halloween. Um, I felt absolutely terrible. Not just from my the cold that I had, but I felt awful. Inflammation, my joints were starting to hurt again. Um, I just wanted to share this with you guys because <laughs> after being back on track and dropping half of that weight just in one week, um, the difference of how I feel physically and mentally is it's absolutely night and day. Uh, I love being on a ketovore diet uh, or carnivore. Ketovore, I can at least have some vegetables. I do like my vegetables. I don't have a lot of vegetables. Kimchi, some sauerkraut, some uh, organic broccoli, spinach, uh, arugula. That's about it. I'm having probably at max about 10 grams of carbs a day from those types of vegetables. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm actually trying to help out a, um, a person that I see every day who she needs to drop about 60 pounds and she just feels like there's no way she can give up carbs. And she's talking about how her joints hurt and she just doesn't want to do anything. She's lethargic when she gets off of work. And I'm really trying to help this person try to have a different mindset that you can cut the carbs. You know, it's all about habits. And if you can form a habit of not eating certain things, trust me, your taste buds change. Anyone that's done a hardcore lifestyle diet change knows that your taste buds will change. But I, I don't want to be too long-winded on this. Um, I really just wanted to share how crappy I felt when I introduced bad carbs back into my lifestyle. Uh, now that I'm being strict again, I'm you know five days of the week. I'm I'm doing um, ketovore. I you know I feel fantastic uh, when I was eating kind of whatever I wanted during October. I felt awful, absolutely awful. Um, I know a lot of people people that um, are early subscribers, you know, they, they joined this channel because it was about finance. Quite honestly, I really don't know what else I can say about stuff. You know, there's only so much by this and by that that I can honestly recommend. I'm still doing the same type of stuff. I love dividend paying stocks, but I do sell calls and puts. Um, I've done videos on that. Um, I'm honestly, <laughs> my portfolio is pretty small as far as the stuff that I, I trade and uh, sell puts 
and calls against. It's pretty straightforward. So I don't really have a lot to say. I'll, I'll probably give some updates now and then, but honestly, I really want this channel to focus on health. Maybe people that are overweight and they need a little bit of help, a little bit of guidance. I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to tell anyone you should do this, but I just want to share what has worked for me. Um, you know, I, I did a video before about how I, I started a carnivore diet. Maybe I'll do a video like trying to help people out on, on how to start one, but I've never felt better when I'm doing this. The, the really nice thing uh, I wanna share with anyone that is doing this diet, um, I noticed my body is very fat adaptive, so I didn't have to go through that break-in period, if you will, of getting my body uh, trained to eat off of my own fat versus carbs. Anyone that has started a keto diet for the first time, you know the first few days are hell when your body is, it's not getting any fuel. You know, you're not giving it any carbs. It's used to feeding off of carbs. It takes a few days, like, you know, at least three days to switch over to, hey, this guy's got a lot of fat, let's start taking fat from him. And that is a really brutal time period. But um, a few times I have gone off of uh, keto, every time I can jump right back in. The only thing that sucks is the cravings, but honestly, after the first day, I'm usually pretty good about that. So anyway, I just wanted to share this. Um, like I said, my, my new channel, it's actually been going really well. I've already got more subscribers after just two months um, than I do on this channel. Been putting a lot of focus on it and I enjoy it. And that's that's the other thing, I really enjoy it. I, I love the food industry, I love food. But uh, I will leave a link in the description down below if anyone is interested in watching me <laughs> break apart new uh, food products that hit the market. And with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I promise I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.